Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See this so the truth lies within and we are going to talk about the 3 and 65th day of a godly blessing where God is actually going to tell us about the seed of thoughts and how important they are before any words come up from our mouth and before we do any kind of action. So let's explore the blessing today. <music> In the Hering Baba says, May you become an embodiment of success who attains the fruit in words and actions of your seeds of thoughts. The details are here. The thoughts you have in your intellect are seeds. So your words and actions are the expansion of those seeds. That means we have to first take care of what kind of seeds which we are going to choose before we even plant them. So that's what we do in meditation. We think about a thought, we judge our own thoughts before other people judge them. And we judge the thoughts on the basis of values and virtues, purity, whether they have got those seven qualities of love, peace, purity, happiness, bliss and knowledge, divinity. And then we put them into action. So God says, if you check your thoughts, that is the seeds, while stabilized in the Trikal Darshi stage. What is Trikal Darshi? Three aspects of time. God in Brahma Kumaris teaches us that the whole cycle goes into a cycle of 5000 years and it repeats itself because the soul never dies, you and I never die, we just leave this body and the drama never dies, it's an imperishable drama because we are souls who are immortal souls so god says that you have to think about the future you have to think about the past and you have to think about the present because it's all in a circle so what you do now is going to affect your future and also because it's a circle it's going to affect your past also so we are right over here and it's like a roundabout so what we think right now what habits we create right now what character which we have right now is going to affect us in the future and also come along with us in the past. So whatsoever we have done in the past is being decided by what we are going to do now. So all the three aspects of time are going on right now. So then God says and make them powerful. You will then automatically have easy success in your words and actions. So we have to be very careful about how it's going to affect our souls in so many different births, not just this birth, but many births to come in our future. So the kind of people which we choose on the basis of our sanskars, the kind of experiences which we choose are all going to be continued. Like history repeats itself, it's going to continue with us all throughout our cycle. So we have to be very careful about what kind of thoughts which we choose because thoughts become words, actions and then they turn into habits and then a character is formed. So then God says, if the seed is not powerful, that means if your thoughts are not powerful, there will not be any power for success in your words and actions. That means we have just said that word without having any kind of weightage in that word without having any kind of weightage in that action. So that means we have to see the purity, the power of the thoughts which we are creating. Are those thoughts full of selfishness? Are those thoughts full of serving others? Are those thoughts selfless thoughts? Are those thoughts going to bring about value to other people's lives? So, and that to not just short term or limited value, but a long term value. So God wants us to Find out whether our thoughts, which whatsoever decisions which we make in our life right now, do they have strength in them or do they have fear in them or do they have biasness in them. So God wants us to be very careful in what we choose right now because it's going to go around in the cycle and come back to us. So just remember that. So God says, in your, there won't be any power for success in your words and actions. You definitely did become embodiments of success in the living form for this is why other souls attain success from your non-living images 
Now, this is a very deep secret which cannot be explained on a video like this. But it's all about your past. Since we are talking about the chakra, the goddess is telling us about our past lives which were so powerful that people still remember us by creating those idols, by creating those different temples, by creating those different places of worship and they are still getting power through those idols. How do you understand that? How is it possible? That's what we learn at Brahma Kumari Special University that your vibrations are flowing out even through idols and people are still getting blessed through that. Now, for that detail, you'll have to do the 7 days course and slowly explore this area of life, the spiritual part of the secret of spirituality. And with this, Om Shanti. Thank you.